Since 1988, I have had one passion only. That is to exceed customer expectations in every facet of the real estate transaction. Our attention to detail and negotiating skills make us the most sought after realtors in our marketplace. Real estate is an industry that's now technologically driven. We at the Sack and Stone team will always be cutting edge. To the Sack and Stone team show episode one. One! I am Scott and we're so excited to bring this new informative and entertaining show to you. Lane, tell That's them what exactly it's all about. Right. My name is Lane with the Sack and Stone team. Episode one, we're gonna do a little bit of a meet the team, where as you see, an empty seat in front of us is gonna be filled by one of our team members. They're gonna do a little bit of introduction about who they are and what they do for the team. And then after that, we have 20 random questions. They're completely uh, random, so they're not, they don't know what they're gonna be getting. So they're gonna have to answer a question. It'll be kind of fun. And I think Scott should start it off. Scott, tell us a little bit about who you are, what you do, and then you have to pick a question. Absolutely, Lane. Well, for a lot of our past clients out there that we've had for almost 30 years, you know I got into the business in the fall of 1988, hit the ground running, working mostly, mostly with buyers. And thanks to all of your loyalty, our business has just exploded. And now, 30 years later, Stone is part of Sacken. And we couldn't be happier to have Lane as our partner on the team. And you'll get to meet the other team members and see a little bit about our evolution. So I will start with a random question. Sure. What do you have? Choose a movie title for the story of my life. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I've had a rocky road in some ways, not health-wise or crisis-wise. I've been very lucky. I was the unpopular skid in school though, the gangly athlete, the one everybody made fun of, picked last on the teams. And today, luckily I seem to be kind of popular. So I guess my story might be, well, The Ugly Duckling's not a movie. Um, that's a story. The Chronicles of Scott, chapter one. <laughs> yes. A movie that's the story of my life. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. Rocky comes to mind to me, but I don't know how his life started at the beginning. But I would say that would be a parallel for me because it just shows hard work and tenacity pays off. You have a lot of losses. You get beat up along the way. But if you stick with it, have tenacity, stick true to your goals, you come out victorious. So I'm going to say Rocky. Rocky Sacken. <laughs> All right, well, my name is Lane. I am now a partner of the Sack and Stone team. I've been so for about a year and very fortunate to do so. I haven't been licensed since 1988, but I've been licensed since 2012, where in my short tenure, I've been able to help hundreds of clients myself, and I feel very honored to be a partner of the Sack and Stone team and been under the tutelage of Scott himself for so many years. Uh, my turn to pick a question, so yeah, let me- Go ahead, Lane, let's yeah. see. Don't pick my question, I pick oh, my question. Oh, sorry. All right. We're new with this and it's totally unscripted. What's your earliest memory? Um, okay, this might sound weird and I don't even know if it's actually absolutely true, but I was only a year and a half, maybe close to two years when my brother was born. But for some reason, I still remember being in the hospital on the day that he was born. So I think that was my earliest memory, but I don't know if conceptually you're even able to remember, like, remember something at two. But for some reason, I don't mm. know if it's a dream or if I remember it, but I feel like that's my earliest memory. I don't know. They say like three or four years old, but maybe um, you immediately felt the competition, the competitiveness in you, and you were like, okay, here's this little guy. I got to make <laughs> yeah. sure I keep up my game. Or I knew that I had to protect somebody Protect right someone. Yeah. Okay, cool. Good parallel. Well, that was us. We got to go. Uh, Philip is going to be up next, and the seat will be filled by him. We're here with Philip Talbert, a key member of the team, and obviously by his jacket and his attire today, we can see just how important he is. Philip, tell us a little bit about your background. It's all smoke and mirrors. But, um, well, I grew up on a large family farm in uh, southern Illinois in the Midwest, and uh, went stayed there all through college, came out to California, and uh, started working in the entertainment industry and the airline industry, and then got my real estate license early 90s, joined the team 96. Now, what'd you do in the entertainment industry? Uh, I picked contestants for game shows. Okay. Oh, wow. What about that voice? You've got such a deep voice. Tell yeah, me you did a little bit of radio. Bit. You yeah. must have done some voiceover work little or something. A little bit, a little bit, yeah. I actually used to stand in for the uh, announcers on the set. <laughs> oh, wow. When they were doing the rehearsals. That's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, I love that's it. perfect. Well, thank you for introducing yourself. Scott and I already did it. There's okay. now 18 questions left in here. Pick one, it's random, you haven't seen it. Answer to the best that you can. Oh, wow. Okay. I'll go, to the, I'll go to the bottom just so to make right. sure that we... And uh, I want to get one thing in while you're thinking about how you're going to answer. I'll give you a little reprieve here. How long have you been with the Sack and Stone team and when did you get your real estate license? Uh, well, I got my real estate license early 90s and then did it, tried to do it part-time, which, you know, we've all heard part-time real estate doesn't work when I was doing another job. Definitely. It's a career. And then, so in 96, I went full-time when you got busy enough that you needed more help. 
And I'll so. step up and say Philip was the first team member that joined the team, and he's allowed us to have the exponential growth we've had and to be where we are today. So, Philip, you've had time to rehearse your question. Let's go for it. <laughs> oh, wow. Who would, you like, who would you most like to swap places with for a day? Ooh. Wow. That's pretty. Oh, Lane. Come yeah, on. With you. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah, let's see. Sorry, athlete Lane. Um, let's see. How about... Um, uh, Let's see, a, a famous movie director or somebody that does movie directing Spielberg? or something? Yeah, Spielberg, somebody like that. That'd be kind of cool. Well, and why is that important to you? Because I still really like that industry and I really have drawn to film and stuff like that. Is there so. one Spielberg film that you can relate to or that you mm. wish that you were the one behind the camera? Uh, well, let's see. Um, well, E.T. would have been kind of fun. Okay, so got it. That's, a good, with that awesome. That's so, a good one. So you've got a script in you. Do you have a... It's a bucket list item. Do you have a time frame you think you want to get that thing produced? <laughs> when I want to swap with Spielberg? Yeah. Maybe he can produce. You, you're producing this show, right? Oh, yeah. I'll do oh, that's right. right. He's the, he's okay. the producer I'll start here. Show. How's that? Very okay. good. That's okay, all right. All right. I put you on the hot seat. Sorry about that. Good job, right. Philip. I'll start all here. Right. Well, thanks, Philip. And uh, I think up next, what do we have? We have Gary up next. So All right. What's going on? Uh, we're here with Gary Elvidge. So happy to have him as a team member. I, You know, he... I scattered them out for my softball team and our real estate team. <laughs> so, uh, Gary, what you're going to do is you're going to tell a little bit about yourself, how yeah. you got in the business, and then after you're done, we have random questions here. You're going to pick one, and you're going to answer it to the best that you can. Got it. So, fire away. Who are you? What do you do? All right. As Lane said, my name is Gary Elvidge. I've been a member of the Sack and Stone team for just under two years, but I've been fortunate enough to have helped clients buy and sell real estate over the last five. Uh, prior to this uh, career choice, I uh, opened and managed new concept restaurants in Los Angeles and Orange County. Always wanted to get into real estate, had a passion for it as a young kid. My great uncle used to flip houses and I just kind of saw the whole process from start to finish. Really enjoyed that. Um, and that's how I got started. Awesome. And, and Gary also has a beautiful wife, handsome little boy, thank you, thank you. family man. So True. I know a, a big portion of being in the real estate business too is being able to have that flexibility to spend time with your family, Correct. which is really important. Yep. But also, uh, none of us, none of the other team members, um, other than Catalina, that we're going to see later, really, we really have kids. So we really, right. you know, we're, family yeah. is really important to us still, but you know the ins and outs of working with buyers and sellers who have families because yes. you've been there, done that. Definitely. It's a fabulous dynamic. And I got to say, coming from a background waiting tables, myself back in college. Gary's hospitality background has been indispensable for our Sack and Stone team events. It's really up our client experience when we have our events. Hopefully some of you have been at them or you will be in the future. But yeah, Gary, it's all about you. Pick a question. Let's oh, see man. what happens. All right. Can you play any instruments? Oh, goodness. Um, I actually played guitar for a band for about eight years. Uh, played rhythm and lead guitar, uh, different genres, from rock to punk, um, and disbanded because everybody had to go to school, college. <laughs> wow. When was, was the last time you had a guitar in your hands? Oh, about a month ago. Really? Trying to teach the little one. Yeah. And how, right. how, old, how old is your little one? Two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half. He's, yeah. he's already a little rocker. He'll, he'll, he's awesome. He'll learn. He'll learn. <laughs> awesome. When we get together as a team, Donovan is the guy with the ball keeping my little dog, Huey, occupied so we can all hang out and enjoy ourselves. So another, <laughs> another great trait. Great. Well, well, thanks, Gary. We're so happy to have you on our team, as Thank you know. You. And uh, next up is Catalina Cruz. And we're back with Catalina Cruz, our Director of Client Care. And as I introduce Catalina, I feel that job description embodies what she does, the word care is infused in every aspect of Catalina's life in business and in personal and I'd like to introduce her now and Catalina tell us a little bit about your background and how you joined the Sack and Stone team. Well uh, my background is teaching that's what I did for about 20 years I was a real estate agent before that and a little bit during that time been working with Scott and the team for about 10 years and I enjoy every minute of it. Sometimes not as much as others, but most of the time <laughs> I enjoy it fully. We like to call her the heartbeat of the office because without our heartbeat, we're not a living you know, force, so to speak. So. Absolutely, and the one thing with Catalina is every client, whether it's phone, email, text, they have always told us and continue to tell us in the reviews how they're loved and they feel special. And that's what care is all about. And it's the glue that holds our team together. So when we salespeople are out with our hair on fire out in the field, Catalina's here every day as that rock. And we're so grateful for that, Catalina. Let's get on with the game. It's your oh, turn to pick something out of your random boy. question oh, here. Boy. What is it? On the spot. On the spot. What is your favorite movie? Ooh. Oh. oh. Uh, 
I have several, but one that really sticks with me is the unsinkable Molly Brown. And I always watch that. I've probably seen that movie. <laughs> It's um, probably before my time. It yes. is. But I think it's, it's, I think it's, it's with Debbie Reynolds, it's who actually, you may not have heard of. Let me tell you, it's before my time, too. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a movie that I watch and always lifts my spirits. And I watch it if I, if I feel sick or if I watch it if I feel down. And it's just a great movie. It's got a great... Uh, feel to it. Well, there you have it. It's a Catalina pick. We have to it's go. A Cat, it's a Catalina it pick, and yeah. absolutely. Yeah. When we cruise with Catalina, we're unsinkable. That's right. <laughs> there That's you go. Right. All right. Well, thank you so much. You're we really welcome. appreciate everything you do for us and the team and it's for my everybody out there that's watching. It's thank you so pleasure. much, Catalina. You're welcome. Thank you. With Stipe. He is the marketing guru of our team, our Croatian guru. sensation. Uh, even though the team might have finished in second, he's still number one in our hearts. That's right. Talking about the World <laughs> Cup, we were all glued to our TVs. Yes, Stipe's been... Especially me. Stipe's been a close personal friend of mine since like second grade. I think, I we think have both, kindergarten. Oh, kindergarten. Yeah. Okay, so we go way back. <laughs> um, and I'm happy he's on our team. So Stipe, can you tell us a little bit about who you are, what you do for the team, and how you joined? Well, yes, so you heard it right. My name is Stipe, and uh, my family's from Croatia, fresh off the boat. So, But I was made in Croatia, born in Huntington Beach. <laughs> but a Huntington Beach boy uh, to the core, uh, born in Huntington Beach Hospital, went to all the schools in Huntington Beach High School. I worked actually for the city of Huntington Beach for 10 years uh, before working with the Sack and Stone team. So I'm here now, yeah, doing our, all the our marketing. Cl our close city affiliation uh, lately has been thanks to Stipe too, because you know his involvement over the last decade with the city and us being in the city for so long, yep. we really want to be able to give back as much as we can. So we sponsored a lot more events, and Stipe's really been that bridge to help us. Uh, Absolutely, be and he's been amazing with that. He's been so modest because you know I've been in the business since before fax machines even existed, believe it or not, and <laughs> we're cutting edge as What's far as that? our technology <laughs> and what we can deliver to our clients. And I may not be the techiest person in the world, but thanks to Stipa, we deliver the cutting edge technology in everything that we do. So we could not be more grateful for that tech and marketing expertise he brings to the team. Stipa, dig in and let's see what the question box has for you today. All right. Where is your favorite place in the world? Well, I have Croatia to say this. Croatia can't be an answer. I no. have to say it. Croatia can't be an answer. Uh, I'm going to get murdered by the Croatian community okay. if I don't say it, but it definitely has to be Croatia. Oh. That's where my family is okay, from. Okay, second place. But second if I had place. to pick a place that I'd like to go uh, or a second favorite place, um, I'd definitely say Asia, somewhere in Asia. No, I'd like... Go ahead. No, no. I was going to say I'd really like to go to like Japan and Thailand and China. Those are definitely on my bucket list. So there's a secondary place. One thing that's really cool though about his favorite place in the world, what like I think we're going, right? We're going next summer for our dirty 30. The we're, dirty 30. Yeah, I know we look a lot younger than uh, Oh, please. We look, <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's not talk about 30. Okay, carry on. Yeah. We're turning 30 next year, so we're all doing a big cruise. We're going to have a group of like 20 or 30 friends here from Huntington. I haven't taken any of them out to Croatia yet or none of uh, only one or two of them been to Croatia, so the plan is to go on a big cruise and just island hop and oh, do it it's right. Really fun. Yeah. It's fun. Awesome. Well, thanks yeah. for being a big part of our team, handling all the marketing, handling all the tech, and just being our Croatian sensation. Thank you. Thanks, Stipe. Thanks for joining us for episode one of the Sack and Stone Team show. This is our team. Everything we do points to you, our valued clients. Thanks for watching today. Bye. Bye. At the Sack and Stone team, our clients are always number one. Get in touch with us with a call, text, or email, and stay in touch. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.